What is up everyone, Stars are here coming at you with another review. In today's review we're going to be talking about a new addition to the Nintendo Switch library, a puzzle game, and that game is... Mushroom Quest. When I first saw Mushroom Quest, my initial impression was that it reminded me a lot of Adventures of Lolo. If you guys remember Adventures of Lolo, it is a classic NES game where you play as this little blue guy who pushes around blocks to solve puzzles and defeat enemies as he works his way up the castle. Mushroom Quest is very similar in the sense that you do solve puzzles, but there are no enemies and there is no real way to die except for falling down a pit or just restarting the level. So Mushroom Quest is a puzzle game where you play as a fun guy who's a fun guy whose goal is to collect all the gems in each level by pushing blocks, getting keys to unlock doors, and activating switches. In Mushroom Quest there are 30 different levels each getting progressively harder with the very first level actually being a tutorial. In Mushroom Quest there's also no story. There's literally nothing. You literally start level 1 and then you work your way to level 30. That is it. There's no story. Now as I said there are 30 different levels each of them getting harder but even the most difficult level isn't insanely hard. If you just take a step back and evaluate the level and look at the level as a whole, you can solve all these levels pretty easily. I think there were two levels that I got stuck on for maybe maybe 10 to 15 minutes, and that's just because I kind of suck at puzzles. I could barely do a Sudoku puzzle. So these puzzles, I found some of them kind of difficult, but if you're a veteran puzzle gamer, you might not find much difficulty in these levels. Mushroom Quest has an awesome 8-bit style feel and look to it, the game looks like it could literally be an NES game. I mean, my favorite thing about this game, and that's not slighting anything else about the game, but it's just my favorite thing, is actually the home screen icon. You could slap that baby on an NES cartridge, and it would fit right in with the NES library. I just love the simplicity of it, just a mushroom holding a key, and the game's called Mushroom Quest. It doesn't get much more simple than that. That is my favorite thing about the game. I love how it looks on my Switch home screen. I just love it so much. The soundtrack is unfortunately lacking. It has one looping track throughout all 30 levels, and with the 8-bit style they went for in this game, they definitely could have taken advantage of it by having maybe two or three different tracks that they played through the 30 different levels. I don't know. They could have definitely taken advantage of it because I'm a huge soundtrack buff, and this game not really having one was kind of a disappointment for me. The game does take maybe an hour to an hour and a half to beat, depending on how good you are at puzzles. Like I said, the levels aren't insanely hard, but some will definitely give you a little bit of trouble. When it comes to replayability, unfortunately, there is pretty much no replayability for this game. Once you beat all 30 levels, you hit with a thanks for playing screen. That's all for now. And it's kind of disappointing. Um, they definitely could have added maybe like a few bonus levels or maybe add more items to collect and maybe add a high score to this game so maybe you can reach certain high scores or maybe have items that were maybe harder to obtain and didn't necessarily be needed to beat the level but it could add your high score I don't know they could have did something with it to give it a little bit more replayability a lot of games actually include timers now for speed running so even a timer would have been kind of great here. But once you beat all 30 levels, I can't see many people going back to play it again. The game does cost $2.99 on the Nintendo eShop. That's pretty cheap. That's about 10 cents a level. If you're a veteran puzzle player or you just like puzzle games or maybe you just like the home screen icon that I fell in love with, this may be worth 3 bucks to you. I do think ideally this game would sit between $1 to $2, but $3 isn't really going to break the bank for most people, but I do think it could be a little bit cheaper. So here are my final thoughts and rating of Mushroom Quest. Mushroom Quest is a decent puzzle game. There are some better puzzle games on the Nintendo Switch for about the same price. Um, specifically thinking about Warlock's Tower, if you've not played Warlock's Tower, it is a puzzle game that's kind of similar to this, but it's a little bit different as well. But there are a lot of other puzzle games that are about 5 bucks that do the same thing but better. The game does lack replayability in a sense that there's literally nothing else to do after you beat the game. For three bucks that might not cause many issues for many people and it didn't for me because it was an okay experience. The game lacking a soundtrack despite having plenty of opportunity to have a great one kind of sucks too. Didn't ruin the experience but definitely could have been better. For a puzzle game it's not horrible, it's not great and that's why I give Mushroom Quest a 5 out of 10. 
If you guys enjoyed today's review of Mushroom Quest, be sure to check out my other reviews. Be sure to leave a like. Be sure to smack that subscribe button like you would a beautiful bottom. That was stupid. <laughs> and as always, thank you all so much for watching and have a fantastic day.